originally founded in 1854 as a trading company for olive oil, Costa can now look back on 75 years of company history in passenger shipping. The shipping business had already been launched in 1924 when the brothers Federico, Eugenio and Enrico bought their first tanker, the Ravenna. Three very well-known Costa cruise ships were later named after the three brothers. However, Costa's entry into passenger shipping only began 24 years later, with the departure of the Anna Sea with 768 passengers from Genoa to Rio de Janeiro. The Anna Sea was Costa's first passenger ship. Costa started with scheduled service to Montevideo and Buenos Aires. From 1953, services to Venezuela and the Antilles were taken up with the Luisa Sea and Franca Sea. During the winter months, the Anna Sea and Andrea Sea were used for the first pleasure trips in the Mediterranean, Costa's first cruises. The Federico Sea, built in 1957-1958, was the first new build for Costa, who in the meantime appeared as Linea Sea. The first cruises to the Caribbean were even undertaken with the Franca Sea as early as 1959. From 1967 the company was restructured. Other lines of business such as the olive oil trade were separated and sold. In 1986 only the cruise division remained with Costa Crociere. At that time the Costa fleet included legendary ships such as the Eugenio Sea or Costa Riviera, Daphne and Danae. The Franca Sea, originally built in 1914 and still in existence today, also had an exciting CV. She is now a hotel in Indonesia. 1997, Costa Crociere was taken over by the Carnival Corporation.
In January 2012, Costa experienced their lowest and saddest point in their history. On January 13, 2012, the Costa Concordia collided with a rock off the Italian island of Giglio and capsized. 32 people lost their lives. The most modern liners in Costa Crociere's current fleet 